Hey everybody, Shannon Scott, the Bard of Bonaventure, the taffophile the most, coming to you from behind a 1931 Rolls-Royce uh, Hearst limousine, pearl white. Good God, it's beautiful. Love that silver lettering in the back, uh, Bonaventure. Uh, but basically this is the property of the Bonaventure Funeral Home, which is just up the road from Bonaventure Cemetery. Uh, they also own the uh, Chapel Mausoleum at the front entrance of uh, Bonaventure, kind of Greenwich Cemetery entrance on Greenwich Road. But um, I think this place has been here now, oh gosh, I'm just going to take a stab at um, maybe seven or eight years. I could be wrong. But, uh, you know, the one thing, I've had the pleasure of working with um, the people at the Bonaventure Funeral Home in terms of putting on a, a music concert at the Chapel Mausoleum. In fact, uh, David J., uh, who was a part of the band's uh, Bauhaus and Love and Rockets. Um, he actually rode in this um, Rolls Royce uh, from the funeral home here to uh, the chapel down the street here from Bonaventure, or at Bonaventure, but we had the concert there, and it was kind of a neat way to make an entrance for David J. at the show uh, in the limousine. It's literally big enough for the driver, one rider, and the casket. So, uh, yeah, it's not too roomy as much as it's a big, long car. Uh, but what I love about the Bonaventure Funeral Home, just as a group uh, or as an organization, is that they keep it really uh, classical in terms of the vehicles they offer their, their clients. I mean, look at this. We have the Bonaventure Funeral Home hearse carriage. I believe they've got both a white and a black one now. I could be wrong, but um, it seems like they had a black one. Uh, they added one recently to the uh, garage. But classically, white hearse carriages were for children. So this is, you know, generally not the case. Uh, and of course, you know, the color white, I think, reminds us of maybe the pearly gates or heaven or what have you. Um, but classically in the Victorian age itself, um, they would have had a white Sorry, sorry, a white hearse carriage for a child and a black hearse carriage for an adult. Uh, and yeah, I mean, obviously it's horse drawn. So now and again, you see this one coming down the road. And although, I mean, I hate to say it's kind of a somber event. Um, I think it's such a neat way to go out. Um, but yeah, this is just one other vehicle in the, um, uh, the collection of the Bonventure Funeral Home. Um, and of course, you know, for the, for the biker, the cyclist, the, um, the avid fan of Harley Davidson, what have you. They've got the um, kind of almost like a Munster family, um, you know, um, motorcycle uh, hearse carriage here. I guess we call that a carriage or a cart. Uh, but I just absolutely love the way they've done this. Um, beautiful Harley Davidson. I mean, I'm, I'm not a motorcycle guy in general, so I don't know what the, the year on this would, would be. Um, not particularly old, I don't think. Maybe from the 70s. I don't know, maybe the 80s. Um, but I just love the way they fashion that, uh, to look kind of like, you know, a Munster mobile, right? Yeah. You got the, the vintage, uh, lanterns there. Um, the, the great cart behind it, which is of course reminiscent of the, the hearse carriage, but yeah. And then one thing that's missing from the lot out here today is actually they, they've got a 1970s kind of Don Corleone, uh, limousine. So yeah, if you kind of want to go that route. A little more vintage with a 70s limo uh mafia style i guess you can but now and again we see this one rolling into bond venture too generally followed uh behind you know by a lot of bikers kind of honor guard style uh but yeah this is just a part of the neighborhood the bond venture funeral home and the stuff they do to keep it fun out here and uh yeah i hope you know if you're obviously you know everyone's got to consider uh these arrangements at one time in their lives and uh you know if you're in savannah and you've got obviously um, burial property nearby uh, this is a company that we highly recommend but anyway I just wanted to share a little bit of that today something a little different alternative uh, from the Bonaventure Funeral Home right here in Bonaventure Road and uh, what a great location people have to pass by it uh, pretty much every day on the way to the cemetery so it's kind of neat uh, to glance over and see these kind of vintage vehicles but gang thanks for watching we appreciate it you can follow us of course on uh, Bonaventure.cemetery on Instagram, uh, Bonaventure Official on Facebook, and of course Bonaventure Cemetery Journeys on Facebook. 
And remember, everybody can give you a tour of Bonaventure, but can they really take you on a story journey? That's what we do here at Bonaventure Cemetery. Journeys, not tours, but journeys. Tell your friends and check us out at BonaventureCemetery.com or ShannonScott.com. And if you guys have questions or there are kinds of video subjects that you would like to see me address, feel free to comment below. But remember to like and share and subscribe to our YouTube channel, Bonaventure TV. This is Shannon Scott, the story is signing out.